Good morning, Pastor Rob here. I just wanted to talk to you a quick moment about the importance of being a giving, fruitful person or ministry. What I mean by fruitful and giving is to be about the Father's business each and every day, even when things are difficult. That means helping those in need as much as you're able and as much as you can. By being there and using the spiritual gifts that God has given you, even through these rough times. And whether that's the gift of faith, hmm, that is having faith and believing for the impossible, whether it's gift to hospitality. I know you can't really have people in your home right now because of the restrictions, but you can give milk or bread or food for your neighbor. Being hospitable means calling your neighbor up that maybe is disabled, elderly, or just can't get out that often. Hmm, and ask them if there's any food they need, if there's anything you can do for them. And then letting them know when you're dropping it off so they can come to their door and pick it up right when you drop it off so it doesn't get rotten, lost, stolen, whatever. Well, whether it's gifts of teaching, like doing, like I have, and doing daily videos every day and just giving a short teaching and encouraging other people, or whether you have the gift of prophecy, which I also have, and just prophesying and encouraging people whether it's by videos like this or just calling somebody up or texting them and sharing what God told you to share with people. Just because we're in isolation right now doesn't mean we still can't use our spiritual gifts and be fruitful in whatever ways we can find. Now, of course, that means spending time with the Holy Spirit every day and making sure that we're making every moment count every action count, that we're not just doing things for the sake of doing things or for the sake of keeping busy. We want to make sure we're still about our Father's business and not just doing things for the sake of doing things. That said, let's take this time to ask God, how can we still be fruitful? How can we still sow seeds in God's kingdom and, cause it, and let God use us to cause it to grow? How can we use our spiritual gifts in this day and hour? How is it we can take these gifts? What outlets can we use to continue using our spiritual gifts? How can we still encourage other people around us? And how can we use this situation to be used of God to lead people to Christ? It is a challenge. Now, some pastors are using video chat to have services so that they can have services. Some are using Zoom to have small Bible studies and video conferencing tools to have meetings so they can keep going. Follow God's leading. Ask God today, how can I still use my spiritual gifts? How in this day and hour can I still be fruitful and sow into your kingdom? How can I still be used of you, Lord? And how can I use the gifts you've given me in this day and age? How do I continue to edify and encourage my friends and my family, those you send me to, those you've given me influence over in life when we're stuck at home? That's a hard question and a hard challenge. That's the main reason I've been making daily teachings every day was so that I have an opportunity to still be used of God to share the wisdom and knowledge he's given me over the years and yes, to share a word of prophecy here and there as God feels or I feel led or as God leads me to do. And that's been bringing me a lot of joy and a lot of peace because when you're about your father's business as when I'm about the father's business it brings you joy it brings you peace although it shouldn't really be about you it should be about the other person let's face it in the end of the day it makes you feel useful and happy and full of joy all the more because nothing makes you a person feel as more useless than not knowing what to do or feeling out of place. And now, more than ever, the world needs our spiritual gifts to be functioning in their full capacity because there's a lot of hopelessness, a lot of fear, and a lot of anxiety right now, out there right now. And the media, of course, is leading the charge, as always, to promote that fear and the anxiety and uncertainty. And let's face it, it's starting to even affect the strongest of us, this never-ending 
quarantine, isolation, whatever you want to call it. It's easy to get through something when you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know when the end date is. But when it seems to be dragging on and on, it's a lot easier to feel hopeless. And if it's starting to affect those of us that are stronger and more able to stand and it's starting to get us depressed and a little bit <laughs> feeling hopeless, imagine how it's making those who aren't as strong as we are, who are were barely standing before this started and are now really struggling. Now more than ever, my fellow gift of encouragement people, we need to be using our gifts to encourage other people. Now the more than ever, my fellow prophets, we need to be used of God to speak into people's lives those words of hope and encouragement they so desperately need to hear now. And those, my fellow pastors, now more than ever, our congregations, the world needs us to step up and encourage them and edify them in love so they can go out and edify the world around them. The fivefold ministry is there for the edification and building up, the state, building up of the saints to go and do the work. We are not the work itself. We are there to edify the body of Christ so they can go do the work. Now more than ever, my fellow pastors, we need to edify those. My fellow teachers, we need to edify the body. My fellow prophets, we need, to we need to edify the body. My fellow evangelists, you need to go out and evangelize and encourage the people. Apostles, my fellow apostles, now more than ever, we need to encourage the fivefold ministry and strengthen them. That is the Holy Spirit through us to be used of God to strengthen them. Because no matter how strong a person is, this time and season is a very taxing time and season, and all of us need that encouragement. I know I need the encouragement. I was just saying the other day, I miss being able to be with my board and being encouraged and edified with them. And I did reach out to them through text and other mediums. Media, not mediums. <laughs> Wrong word. I don't use mediums. Don't, don't use mediums. Besides, is there a lot of mediums anymore? All I see is size large little joke but I did reach out to my board through texting and other media to get some encouragement because no matter how strong you are no one is an island we all need to encourage each other and build each, build each other up in our most holy faith because no one is an island no one can stand alone you know, when two stand together, they can defend each other, and a three-pry cord is not easily broken. That's out of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 2, I believe. Might be wrong on that. But, so use your spiritual gifts. Don't bury them in the ground. Now more than ever, the world needs you to use them to encourage, to edify, to speak into people's lives, and to lift up and build not only your pastors and your prophets, not only your apostles, pastors, teachers, prophets, and evangelists. I know it lets them out of order, but it's all five there. They need your encouragement. Fivefold ministry leaders, church leaders. The body needs your encouragement so they can, edit, they can encourage the world around them. Now is the time more than ever to use your spiritual gifts. Reach out. Be used of God to encourage the world around you. Encourage those underneath you, church leaders. And to stand firm because the times are dark, but the glory of the Lord rises upon us and the Gentiles shall come to the brightness of our rising. Just as it says in Isaiah. So my fellow church leaders, my fellow Christians, lights of the world, in whom dwells the spirit of the holy God. I challenge you, I beseech thee in behalf of the Lord God Almighty. Use your spiritual gifts. Let your light shine in the darkness. Be the hope and joy and peace this world needs in this time and season. I challenge you in behalf of the Holy God of Israel. In Jesus' name, you all have a wonderful day and may God richly bless you all. Amen.